watch the the whole debacle too with the Diego uh, TV. What's your opinion on that? Obviously, what's, your, what's your views on it? Uh, my views on it is um, I'm thinking they they tried to pull a fast one. To be honest with you, uh, <laughs> I'm thinking uh, we're paying a I want you a license fee, and you know there's obviously a vested interest. You know they obviously RT own fifty percent of Diego, and they yeah they tried to pull a fast one. That was that's that's my opinion on it. Um, I don't know what you think, but. Uh, that will it's a five year contract, they'll probably have a, a look at it at the end of the year because pressure will come on. Um, but like the about Sky Sports was was obviously um, uh, you know, they're mounting on Sky Sports, but this you know, you have to download an app with GA Go, it's yeah. fucking it's a pain in the hole. People like I'm only thinking of the like I'm thinking of the likes of my father. Yeah. He's very old school, you know, and watching the games in the house and the whole yeah, go thing, you know, maybe the Wi-Fi is not great, et cetera, et cetera, you know, and it's it's very unfair on people, you know, and at least with Sky, you know, you you knew what you were getting, you were getting a good product. Yeah. You were getting really good top class analysis as well, you know, and you're not really getting that on GA Go, you know. But it was nice revelations during the week when we found out that RTE have, you know, GA Go fifty percent share, like, you know, and in RTE have fifty percent share in it. So they're the major question marks asked there now, you know, over that and, and where that's going. And I know some of the government min- ministers have got involved in that debate. So that'll be interesting well, to see how they, that they showed they showed and it sounds good a question, but the real thing I'd say what pissed people off is they were showing the court uh said fucking Prince Charles, the coordination and uh the monster the monster heard in Cork one of the best best games of the year. The irony well, is I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you here now, I'm not gonna give off with uh, King Charles because I get a day off on Monday for the coronation. Like, so <laughs> we get a bank holiday up here by in the in the in the, in the, in the E6 boy. We get a bank holiday. Uh, um, oh, it, was, it was a disgrace. Like it was a disgrace. Like an <laughs> unbelievable monster hurling game on and 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 that being shown. Like oh, but did look, you see? It, it, did it, you see the interview? Did you see the interview with uh, Katrina and uh, Ben is an RT News? I did, I did, yeah. I thought she was very, very good. I thought her question was excellent. Uh, put McBennett on the back foot, but look, I've yeah. spoke to McBennett. <laughs> I've spoke to McBennett in the past and over a couple of things that I felt was was very, very unfair, particularly uh, gauged in, in my own direction. Uh, you know, from a certain number of pundits within RTE at the time, and you know, got the same sort of waffle from him, the same sort of party lines about credibility and the nonsense and you know, uh, waffle that he spouted out. Like, so I don't really have much time for him. I don't really, I don't really have much, I don't really have much respect for his opinion either, to be honest with you. I think he's a, I think he's a waffler, you know, and a, and a, and a, and a <coughs> familiar, to be honest with you, I wouldn't have, I, I, look, here, listen, if, if they maybe stopped, you know, paying some of the highly, highly well-paid pundits that uh, to talk absolute nonsense, you know what I mean? You know, honestly, you know what they'd be safer doing? And this is the truth. They'd be safer losing the pundits and just showing the game. Just show more games, less talking, and just show more games because there's very, very few of them that are actually fit to analyze the games and talk about the games, you know. And to be fair to Brawley, like <laughs> I wasn't Brawley's greatest fan at times, like, but he did bring a bit of crap, he did bring a bit of joy to it. You look at the product that Sky Sports have on a Monday night football with Carragher and Neville, and you, you see even on a, on a Sunday with Keane, he'll speak what he th- he say, he'll say what he feels. Like Lee Keegan apologized for giving a man of the match. He actually apologized for giving a man of the match to. To you know, on social media, apologies for giving that. If you're there, if you're there to make an opinion, why are you going back and apologizing then? Like you know, just give your opinion and stand by it. You know, if that's what you see, that's what you see. You know, but I, I just think to be safer off, cut the punditry, cut the nonsense, cut the talking. See on a Sunday night, I would say people would much prefer to see fifteen games shown over the next because over the next few weeks we're going to have Talson Cup, Harlan, Sam Maguire. Show the games and lose the talking. People will be much happier, much happier, you know. And Jesus, some of the stuff you listen to on a Sunday night's embarrassing. Uh, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't watch it, to be honest with you. I can't, I can't watch it anymore or see if it's with you. Drives me mad. Huh? Drives me mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, the, the counter-argument they're saying, obviously, uh, this money is going to grassroots. I don't know. People are throwing that out. I don't know if, the, if that's the case. Uh, they're about the upkeep of, of the facilities around the country, that uh, money has to come from somewhere. Uh, again, like I've, I I have to look into it more where, you know, exactly 
uh, that money goes yeah. in terms of I, I can't see it. yeah I don't know I'd have to yeah look it'll be interesting uh, again next year we see what, what comes uh, comes about but uh, I yeah it was just I, I think my Bennett was nearly surprised at the line of question that he got from, from Katrina obviously she works from RT yeah. she's obviously been she's going herself in two weeks time to BBC so that obviously helped matters but it was nice to yeah. see him uh, you know put under pressure and uh, he, cer- he certainly didn't like it so look we 